Welcome good people, my name is Joel Collier and today we're going to talk about how to use control variables in structural equation modeling and specifically with Amos. Uh, so the, before we kind of jump into um, how to actually use a control variable or include a control variable in your analysis, let's first just talk about what is a control variable itself. So the reason why you uh, we, we use control variables is because um, it, it's really a variable that you want to try to hold constant during your test to kind of prevent any bias in your results. So in essence you are kind of controlling for its effect in your results. And so you may see a lot of, uh, of, of different kind of control variables that you want to control for. Like for instance if you were looking for a control for gender. Uh, if you had to do with something that was very maybe female based versus not male based or if it was something um, where age would factor into it where younger ones may have a stronger influence than the older ones or if income um, or maybe even just kind of psychological aspects uh, might change that and so um, in a structural equation modeling uh, analysis you will oftentimes want to control for these variables because it'll lend yourself to criticism saying that well your results are biased because you know um, you didn't control for it for gender or you didn't control for age or income and so you know you, if you did those results may be completely different and so today I'm going to show you about how to use control variables uh, in Amos and how, to, how influential they can possibly be too. So looking at our simple model right here, so this was a, um, a path model out of a study that was looking at self-service technology and specifically kind of self-checking in, uh, in grocery stores. And the hypothesis on this was uh, pretty simple, but it was that um, how convenient the self-service technology was was going to lead to consumers to trust the technology a little bit more and how convenient it was was going to lead to uh, greater ease of use perceptions that it was easy to use uh, on the flip side too the more control that felt like the customer had in the process uh, by by them actually controlling the checkout instead of someone else um, they were going to have a little bit more trust uh, in the technology and they were going to find it a little bit easier to use and both trust and ease of use was ultimately going to positively influence intentions to use the SST again so pretty straightforward uh, we had two IVs uh, leading to kind of two mediating properties and then one ultimate uh, DV so initially, if we just run our analysis uh, with this uh, path model, um, you can see initially uh, in here that convenience has a relationship to trust. Uh, it's not very strong compared to uh, convenience's influence to ease of use. Uh, and then it looks like control or SST control had pretty strong relationship to both ease uh, and trust and trust and ease had a relationship, a positive relationship to uh, intentions to use it again. So initially you can think, well, hey, my, my model's good, everything's fine, you know, the end. Well, you could set yourself up for even possible criticism to be like, hey, you're looking at self-service technology and you're just kind of dumping all of the older consumers and younger consumers in at once. And what if it's, you know, completely different for older consumers but you're not accounting into that um, into the analysis and it might that influence might actually kind of be even somewhat kind of hidden in there because maybe you had a lot of younger consumers so let's say that we wanted to go back to our model but we're going to use uh, age now as a control variable so we're going to control or hold that you no know, variable constant across this model to account for that influence that age might actually happen um, and so we're going to initially just kind of pull in uh, one of the uh, observable variables of age and this was just simply where they put in their their age was from 18 to all the way to 86 and so we're going to pull in that control variable and then we're also going to put a path or a relationship from that control variable to every dependent variable in your model 
So we want to control for the influence of age in all of the dependent variables in our model. So now we also want to, uh, because age uh, is the control variable is going to be considered an independent variable, we're also going to include a covariance between age and all of the other independent variables in the model. So now we've got our two independents, we've got trust and ease going to intent, and now we've included a control variable and it has a relationship to all dependent variables. So let's take a look now at what happens to our model when we include age in there. So looking at age initially, um, it looks like um, our relationship is pretty similar across all of those categories. If you noticed that um, convenience and trust are still significant, convenience is still um, a little bit weaker, uh, SST control needs of tr e SST control to ease and trust is still significant too. Uh, if you look at some of our control variables, we see that age has a negative, a very significant negative relationship with ease of use. So the older the consumer is, the harder they think it is to use. But surprisingly also, age also shows that it has a positive relationship to trust. So the older they were, they were actually easier to find trust in the technology itself once they started using it. And then trust and intent um, both had um, a relationship, uh, trust and ease had both had a relationship to intent, age and actually did not have a direct relationship to intentions to use it at all. And if we look at the um, the relationships, you know, side by side to see, well, where are the differences there with using my uh, control variable, you can notice that uh, even looking at the standardized regression weights across those, so that um, SST control um, to trust, and if you look at even convenience to trust, the relationships themselves uh, slightly change. Convenience is slightly weaker uh, than it was before. Um, and so for the most part, they're pretty consistent, but you're starting to see kind of slight differences, and that counts for the influence of age itself. So for the most part, even with age, our model still holds and everything's, you know, kind of consistent. Some of the, the estimates changed, but not, not a lot. Now, let's say we wanted to add another control variable instead of one. Sometimes you'll see models that have three, four control variables in there because they're controlling for a lot of different things. So let's go back uh, into our variables, and now we're going to include a variable called technical anxiety. So this is where the argument could be made was like, well, hey, you know, it has nothing to do with maybe even age. It's how much anxiety do people have using technology? Because that's definitely going to influence if they trust it and especially how easy it is to use if they're just anxious about using self-service technology. Um, especially because usually self-service doesn't have anybody to kind of help you uh, oftentimes. They're kind of doing it yourself. And is that going to have an influence? So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add this control variable. We're going to put the relationships to the dependent variables. And then since this is an independent, we're going to uh, include covariances uh, to all of the independent variables here. So now let's go ahead and run our um, model again, except now we've got two control variables in there. And so the results of this, oh wait, vastly different than it was before. So let's look at it from a side-by-side -side comparison just to make it a little bit easier. Um, if you look at the um, the relationship from convenience now to trust, that relationship now is non-significant. Uh, it actually, you know, f uh, fell off. You can see too that some of the other relationships have changed as well. You, if you can um, uh, notice in here as well that technical anxiety, its relationships to ease of use and trust, that control variable we included in there, was, uh, you know, technical anxiety to ease of use had a very strong relationship and it was negative with a T value of 13.76. So as anxiety goes up, ease of use went down. And so now you can see by adding that control variable, not only did 
you know, slightly changed with, with age, but now we included another one with anxiety and age, and now our relationships, maybe they don't hold. Maybe convenience is not as important towards trust. Still shows convenience is important to ease of use, but maybe it really doesn't drive trust there when you control for not only consumers that are looking at their older consumers and younger consumers and consumers that had a lot of technical anxiety versus those that didn't have hardly any. And so in this instance, now we are controlling for those effects. And it kind of keeps us from getting criticized, too, to say maybe your results are biased. You know, you're not controlling for these other things that could definitely influence the results itself. And so from the control variables, uh, now we have a little better picture, too, of what the actual influence is when we control or hold constant these influences. Uh, if I wanted to add another control variable, it would be the same process. I would just drag another one in, or, you know, put a relationship to all the DVs, and then add the covariance to all the independents, um, and and run the analysis. Now, what happens if my co my control variables are are non-significant? Well, that's fine. It just means that you're controlling for it, but it really doesn't have a strong influence, you know, to the dependent variables that are in your model. But you are still controlling for that influence. Now, I would say if age was, if I included age in there and as a control variable and it was non-significant to any of my dependent variables, trust, ease, intent, like nothing came out significant when I, from that relationship to age, then I could make the argument that I don't know that really including the control variable of age is really worthwhile because it really doesn't have an influence um, to any of the uh, uh, DVs, and you may can just kind of regress back to your original model if that's the case, because you're, uh, you've got justification that it really doesn't have an influence, or you're not really controlling an influence that's changing your relationships. So if you're looking for uh, more information about kind of control variables, and ultimately just more kind of easy to understand um, descriptions of how to run analysis and sim through Amos and from measurement to structural to more complex mediation moderation uh, I encourage you to check out my book uh, 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 and you can find it at most uh, major bookstores uh, from Amos I've got the links I mean uh, in Amazon I'm in Barnes and Noble and others I've got links down in the uh, the description uh, and if you've uh, enjoyed this uh, video I'd ask that you like and subscribe uh, for more to come uh, I hope y'all have a great week good people